What's going on, Leo? Welcome back to Jewelry Box Tarot with your girl, Empress Gem. Here to drop these jewels. This is your Spirit Says Weekly Message. General message, guys. Sequels for you, leave the rest behind. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and your north node. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, my personals are open. You can book on a website that's listed below. There's still a sale going on to the 30th of June for half off all readings. Leo, if none of this resonates, come back, college and go in the next seven to 10 days, right? Right. I think I got everything out. But so, Leo, I just really started singing um, Sadie um, R. Kelly. OK, so you could be done with a Capricorn. OK, somebody could have lost a parent recently or a grandparent or like a, a parenting figure, mother, father figure to them or whatever. They could have recently lost that. My condolences. Um, or it could be approaching the anniversary of one. OK, of the loss of a loved one. And, you know, you're reminiscing. Um, I'm being guided to tell you that they hear you when you talk to them and they miss you too. They want you to know that I'm okay, baby. Like you going to be all right. I've been watching you and protecting you. I see you. I'm real proud of you. Okay. I knew you'd get that promotion. Don't worry about Jack. So I don't know if it's a Jackie, a Jacqueline. A Jacob, I see J-A-C. So, but they say don't worry about that person, okay? Um, somebody is saying that you need, do the therapy, okay? It will help, all right? Do the therapy. What is that? White or Wrigley? Isn't Wrigley a gum? Somebody who chews a lot of gum, mint gum, double mint or spearmint type of gum. Somebody chews a lot of gum, okay? But that's who that's for. But um, new moon is really like, this new moon in Cancer is about to like do some magical shit for y'all. Like I feel like um, for some, a lot, some of you guys as well, there are energies around you that miss you. But you see these people like on a regular basis. You probably don't affiliate with them. You just associate with them t as much as you need to, or you don't talk to these folks, but you still see them in crossing or passing, or somebody's like watching, looking at your social media and seeing you live in life. Somebody wants to reach out and talk to you. Like they miss you a lot. Like they, they miss their friend. Like I'm really hearing like somebody misses their friend. They miss that um companionship. They miss somebody who like you understood this person or whatever, and they miss you, like, a lot, like, they're watching you, they want to be a part of your life, they want to reach out, they don't know how to reach out, though, okay, so I feel like you could be receiving some sort of communication from this person with this new moon energy, okay, somebody wanting to start a new cycle with you, come back around, and I, it's not so much um getting that old thing back with them, like, they want to start on something new, something fresh, because they see that you're in a new energy, so they want to come in with a new energy as well, and stay in this present time, okay, so I feel like somebody really wants to like forget and release the past. I, f I don't feel like you've been holding on to the past so much, Leo. I feel like it's whoever th this opposite energy of you. They've really been holding on to the past and they were really concerned and worried like if you were, but it was more so them holding it on and not releasing it. But I feel like you have. And now that's why this person's like, oh man, like Leo doesn't even feel like way. they just moved on and they're living their life. And I feel like this person is like either they have been doing the work or they're being forced to now do the work, somebody may be getting an apology or something of that nature because somebody really, like someone really misses you. They really want to come back and, you know, kick it with you again, okay? So let's see what we got here. Divine Holy Spirit, we thank you. Please supply the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node for the next seven days. Things that they need to know for their highest good, okay? Mm-hmm. I was on that one. Beautiful soul. I was on it, Okay. So, yeah, you're doing well, okay? If you've been wondering, if you've been praying to your ancestors, praying to whoever it is that you pray to for your highest good, they want to let you know that you're doing really well, okay? Um, you're shining. They see you shining. Even if you feel like nobody else is paying attention to you, they notice you, and they congratulate you, and they're very proud of you, okay? Yeah, childhood, teenage years. So somebody, you could have lost somebody, you know, like I said, this could have been like um, just a grandparent or somebody who took care of you. You could have lost this person while you were a child, okay? Um, but if you were wondering, like, damn, would they be proud of me today? They are proud of you today. Yep, look at that. Cheers to you, okay? They're proud of you, all right? Know that. So what else? What do we have here for Leo? Yeah, so that cheers to you came back around. All right, what's underneath? 
I'm a lover, not a fighter. So yeah, this is going to that energy of the person who's missing you. Maybe I had a falling out or a disconnect in this person. It, like you just weren't going to battle with this person. Okay. Like, and, cause I just feel like that, that wasn't your energy with this person. Like you never wanted to fight this person. You only wanted to love this person, but this person was stuck in some sort of ego trip or whatever, or I don't know, something where they couldn't, you know, be here. Like somebody could not be here with you. Like you just wasn't seeing eye to eye. Okay. What else do we have here for Leo? Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, guys. Okay? Comment, subscribe, share. We have leave me, okay? I act like I don't care, but I do. You was a real one. I messed up. I'm too late. I need you. This is page of cup, five of cup energy. This is an apology, okay? Somebody could be in D.C., Okay, or recently traveled to DC more so is what I'm getting as I'm seeing Sagittarius and Sagittarius rules like traveling. So um somebody yeah, somebody could have moved away. This is somebody who also could be at a distance from you. Okay, I feel like this person does want to come near you, or like I said, they want to call you. Somebody like really misses you. Yeah, somebody is trying to like really steal time and come back and like see you. Okay. Somebody really feels like they're missing pieces of their life without you being around. Um, final message here. That is a lot. You know what? It says, that's the message. And I said, okay. <laughs> so we have a liar here or a politician. This could be dealing with politics as well. Okay. Our government, our federal government more so. Especially coming off of that DC vibes. Okay. But um, we have a brother here. All right. <laughs> I know who I just thought of. What is this? The cold never bothered me anyway. Let it go. So, okay. And I'm going to go there and touch. I don't know why it's coming up in your reading because, yeah. So, this is about the Supreme Court getting ready to do, like, how they was looking at um gay marriage or whatever and want to overturn that ruling. Okay? Like, I feel at this time, like, I don't feel like anything may happen, but I'm also, yeah, because the brother I'm thinking of is the one black freaking judge in the Supreme Court. And he's like all for it or whatever. Like I feel like I, if I'm not mistaken, he's like the one who um really is like trying to push for that. And it's like, bro, you need to let it go. Like shit ain't cool. Like don't do this. Like yeah, y'all y'all doing enough. I'm not really big on discussing politics and religion like that. Okay, I let people have their opinions. That's the energy that I don't like to waste time on or just waste with people, especially closed minded people. But um. Yeah, he need to let it go, okay? But aside from that, there also could be a brother out here who's been lying, and I feel like he's got caught out, and it's like, bro, like, let it go. Like, everybody know that you're not telling the truth here. Yeah, they want you not your partner. Yeah, gay relations. So this is definitely talking about that when we're talking about politics, okay? What else we have? Let's be lovers and friends. Let's rendezvous. I got plans for you. I got what you need. It's a love note. She's mine. Thank you for giving me a chance to feel special to somebody in a world where they not loving me. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot of slack or comeback if they do try to touch this law and overturn it. I feel like all hell will definitely break loose with this one here. So if they were smart, they let this shit go. Unless they are really trying to make the U.S. go to shits, then I mean, to all be it, that's what their plan is. But um, they should really let this one go here. I feel like they may actually let it go because it's like, yo, you're doing, you've done enough because I feel like now there's going to be a big uproar and an overturn, especially with that Roe versus Wade being overturned here. Okay, we have the initials D, J, P, V, first, middle, last. We have the numbers four, seven, eight. Okay, could be seeing that in doubles or triples here. Okay, this could be that brother's name as well, because his name is Clarence Thomas. I don't know what his middle initial is, but whatever. Um, but if this is outside of that, you could be dealing with somebody who has these initials. This could be your brother or this could be like, say, if this could be somebody that you consider a brother, like a close friend. This person could be lying on you. So if I'm, I feel like I could be talking to a man here. Okay. And so say, or matter of fact, I could be talking to a chick, but however, so say there's a dude who want to talk to you and he, he, he got a thing for you, whatever, whatever. You could have one of your homies who's who's a boy who's like, nah, I don't fuck with him, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like it's because he could want 
he could have a thing for the guy who's into you. And the guy who's into you might not even be like bisexual or homosexual or anything like that. But like this might be one of those dudes who like do the best that he can to like turn people out is what I heard. Okay. This person also might be a cross dresser. So they dress up and look like a really nice chick. They might also be trying to lie and say, oh, no, I messed with him, you know, da, da, da. And that's, it's not true. Like, whatever it is, it's not true. Yeah, you need to cut this person off, okay? Cut that person off because what God has given, no man can take. What's for you is for you. So this is also still going back. Like, I feel that, like I said, because there's already an uproar, there's a lot of drama that may, you know, begin to take place with that overturning of Roe versus Wade. I feel like whatever they try to get ready to do now, like because there's so much focus on that and these gun laws that they're not going to have time to pursue this, okay? So you guys make sure you get out there and vote, okay? Yeah, because if I had a dollar for every time, every time this person said that they was, um, oh, I slept with that person, I messed with that person, oh, they're really gay, blah, blah, blah. It's not true, okay? Don't mess with this person. They're lying. They just don't want to see you move on. This is somebody who's really sad and bitter. Yeah, blunt force trauma. Like, they'll say anything to force a narrative. Like, this is somebody who will force a narrative narrative here yeah and money blockages because they don't want to see you come up like you could even be going in business deals here and i feel like this person yeah because that this card also says that it's gold digger energy here as well so this person also could just be trying to stop you from going to whatever relationship because they don't want to see you come up they know that you're going to have something good with whoever or whatever you're about to combine with and they're trying to stop you because they're not elevating with you okay yeah you're happy right now and happiness here and it's indecision somebody's trying to make you very indecisive and not you know pick a side or like make a definite decision here yeah honesty okay you know the truth of a situation you know the truth of the matter here okay forgiveness this person's going to beg for it i feel that okay or it's going back to that person who also misses you they want they want to come in and give you an honest apology for how they behave how they may have distanced themselves because they want to come back around okay somebody like really really misses you okay in the same breath so spirit what do we have here for leo to close out this spread leo summer rise of venus and north Hill, we thank you what do you have here for leo Summarize the Venus in the North Node. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So yeah, because of all these major changes that are already taking place within the government, like and within the laws, I feel like they're gonna like take their time here or whatever. Or like they're gonna work on it, but I don't feel like it's gonna get too far here. Okay. Yeah, they have have all the passion and try to speak and use all that power that they have with this politician energy, but yeah, the shot clock is underneath that. Time is ticking. Like they they yeah, no, I wouldn't yeah. But I do feel like somebody wants to change scenery. Somebody wants to change, you know, the relationship dynamic behind you. Somebody also wants to change what you got going on. The only changes that you need to make are changes that are going to elevate you. Do not allow anyone to change you, okay? Granted, change is good a lot of the times, okay? Like those towers are good because it breaks down what is faulty to rebuild for something that is stable and pure, all right? So don't be afraid of the change. Don't be afraid, you know, if you know that, you really had no ill intentions or like ill will, or like no real bad vibes with that friend. Th this person has changed, okay? And I feel like they're now like, there's a more equal meeting of the minds here with this energy, okay? Or they're more understanding or it's going to be a more understanding dynamic when it comes to the relationship with you and this person. Okay, we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Like, yeah. And it's saying it go back to that whole law thing. No matter how hard they try, it's like with this change, some things you need to leave well alone because it's it, it may not go as good, okay? So it's like I was having that conversation today, and I guess your reading is made, is made for it. I don't know, because like lioness energy, you know, and her cubs um, protecting. But um, a lot of courage, a lot of strength, I guess, as well. But I was talking, I was like, yeah, you know, they may have banned abortions, but they're not going to stop them. Okay. And not for nothing. I mean, I'm, for me, it's still like free will. You do what the hell you need to do and what, what is satisfied, like justified for you. Like everybody's situations and things are different. But I feel in this case, it's like, um, I'd rather it be a safe abortion than an abortion that is, you know, going to 
end up harming a lot of women and things of that nature. Or as I read and I seen it, it's like number the, the number one, you know, death cause for pregnant women is the man who she's pregnant by because they don't want her to have that baby. So it, there's that worry and that fear. Um, yeah, and fear is never a good thing because it lowers vibrations. But it is that that's out there that can possibly happen, okay? So, but nonetheless, keep pushing forward, Leo, and your endeavors and what it is that you're doing. You are changing, you're evolving. People are noticing here, okay? Your ancestors, your deceased loved ones, they, they're noticed, okay? They're proud of you, all right? Underneath the deck, yes, because you're working towards peace. This is all about peace, disrupting peace as far as that government shit and being at peace as far as yourself here, okay? Um, but I am a being of love and I release all negative energy so that has been your message leo very long but you guys got um a message that i hope most of the collective clicks on because it it talks it, it has some deep stuff in here but um i love your face until the next time we speak peace out